Hi guys, welcome to stem cells and totipotents. So you need to be able to state what totipotent cells are, explain how cells lose their totipotency and become specialized, describe cell differentiation and cell speciation, describe the origins and types of stem cells, explain how pluripotent stem cells can be used to treat human disorders. So uh, this is our specification for today. And let's get started. So we will have a quick animation here, starting with the zygote, which will uh, undergo division. And uh, here we will get a blastocyte. And for the first few weeks, the developing embryo will contain unspecialized cells. So those unspecialized cells are uh, embryotic stem cells. Okay. Those embryotic stem cells, they can then specialize into different types of cells. Okay, and embryotic stem cells are highly important because they can differentiate into any type of cell. And all cells contain genes, of course. So only certain genes will be switched on at the time, so they can uh, code for the specific type of the cell. Okay, stem cells then, we've got a, a definition of the stem cells, so those are the cells able to differentiate into other cells, and undifferentiated dividing cells that occur in adult animal tissues and need to be constantly replaced. So those are stem cells, and specialization is something that we cannot turn back. And in terms of the self-renewal, it's the ability to divide to form an identical copy. So this terminology is needed. The sources of the stem cells, we've got embryotic stem cells, umbilical cord blood stem cells, placenta stem cells, and adult stem cells. So in terms of the specification, you need to be able to describe four types of the stem cells. So totipotent, pluripotent, multipotent and unipotent stem cells. So let's have a look what are the differences between those. So totipotent uh, cells, they are the ones that occur for a limited time only in early mammalian embryos. They can divide and produce any type of body cells. And during the development of the totipotent cells, they can translate only part of the DNA. So that will result in cell specialization. In terms of the pluripotent cells that are found in embryos, they can divide uh, in unlimited numbers and they can be used to treat human disorders. Multipotent, they are found in uh, mature mammals. They can divide to form a limited number of different cells. So that's the difference. Same unipotent cells. So they are found in mature mammals. They can divide to form a limited number of different cells. And uh, for example, we've got uh, exemplified uh, by the formation of cardiomyocytes. So those are cardiac muscle cells. So that's one of the examples. The uh, specification also is asking you to know what are the induced pluripotent stem cells, IPS cells. So those are the types of pluripotent cells that are produced from unipotent stem cells. So let's have a look how does it work. So you can reprogram uh, adult cells and uh, you can induce pluripotent uh, stem cells to the uh, organisms, for example, to treat the disease. And process of reprogramming specialized adult body cells uh, it's needed to make sure that they become pluripotent. We know now what the pluripotent cells are. And how this can be done? This can be done because adult cells are made to express a series of uh, transcription factors. So those transcription factors are associated with pluripotent cells. And those cause adult body cells to express genes 
that are associated with pluripotency. So they can then be used uh, to produce specialized cells. Right? What are the uses of uh, pluripotent uh, cells, induced cells? So uh, you can use them as a long term. They have less chance of uh, immune response. They can be used as a single treatment and the harm of side effects uh, will be here from the viruses because we, we can use those in the gene therapy. Right, so that's everything for the stem cells. See you later.